Hey guys, Soul Intuition here. I know it's been a while since we talked, and that's because I started that new business, Tyra Beauty, and um, my relationship with James is steadily progressing. So, you know, I said, this morning, I'm going to make a get ready with me and catch them up on everything that's going on. So, um, today is my day to post on my blog, she's dating again and um I didn't write a post, but what I did do was I uploaded the link and I actually uploaded the video here onto YouTube from Periscope because I do have a periscope. You could find me at Soul Intuition. And James and I also have an account, but I rarely broadcast from it, but it's J underscore Sean, S-H-A-A-H-N. That's our periscope. Uh, right now, I'm detangling my hair. It's really all tangled up, and I just do it in pieces. I haven't combed my hair since Saturday, so it's that's why it's doing that. But, yeah, what I wanted to tell you guys was things are... Oh, I have a phone call. Let's see who this is. Ah, my good friend Tia. Hey, Tia, I got you on speaker, and I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> What's up, girl? Now, I remember that time we were talking on the post about something, and it was about a book that you had recommended. I'm about to go in the head type bookstore, but I wanted to see if you could remember what it is. A book that I recommended? Was it, um, do you know what the post was about? Um, maybe about expression. I don't, I don't know. Well, was this a recent? Because I just, um, was been reading How to Win Friends and Influence People. I don't know if that's the yeah, one. That one. That one, that one. Okay, yeah, by Dale Carnegie. How to Win Friends and Influence People. It should be really super cheap. I mean, that book been out since the 1930s. <laughs> I'll take it cheap. Yeah, it should be, like, super cheap. What's the call again? How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it's very good. Dale Carnegie. Yeah, Dale, like Chip and Dale. Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale. Yeah, of the famous Carnegies. Ow. Hurt. There we go. Let me see real quick. Okay. Did you get that picture I sent you? What picture? Of the little boy dressed like Cat Williams. Girl, I said this morning I was like, "Who's Cat Williams?" But then he, well, he looked like him. He did with the little pencil much better. <laughs> yes, he did in his long hair. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's just, this was not even for kids anymore. This is for parents. I can't. <laughs> I know. That was for the parents. <laughs> it was funny, though. Yeah, but I said it was funny, though. But um, I'm going to get back to this, this YouTube video. Say bye to all my friends and followers. Bye. Bye, friends. <laughs> bye, see you. I'll talk to you later. Uh, bye. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's my buddy, Tia. So, yeah, I got my hair all tang uh, detangled now, and I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Look at it. It's I think what I'm going to do is a little but two buns i like when i do the two buns i think it looks cute but anyways so what i was saying was the relationship is going really well between james 
and I and I decided, like I said, to release one of my periscopes. If you know anything about me and my scopes, I usually delete the ones um, with James because he's always doing something out of pocket. Just doing something where I need to delete that scope. But um, I do save them to my phone. So I had one from September and I thought it was pretty funny. We were just answering questions from followers. Um, you know, and they were just asking us random stuff, like this or that type of questions. And we had a good time just cutting up, answering them and everything. So, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with us. I don't really have any breaking, breaking news because stuff is just good. And honestly, I'll be a hundred with y'all. The reason why I haven't been blogging as much as I kind of wanted to like I really did want to share some things with James has done some really special things for me over the last two months and I but part of me feels like since I only have good things to say about him that you guys might be getting bored so that's part of the reason why I'm I just don't post as much and I don't blog as much but he's been blogging. So if you want to read his blog post on my blog, you can check it out anytime. She's dating again .com. Oh, I love this. This is the Tiggy Bedhead. It's the stick. The wax stick for hair. This stuff is amazing. It takes care of all the flyaways. You don't have to worry. Oh, one thing. I did make bronzer status with um Tyra Beauty that puts me in a leadership position in the company and it also means that my team we did over four thousand dollars in sales I personally did I think I did over a thousand this month last month I mean and yeah I, I, I did over a thousand like, it squeezed in at the last minute because I was at 718, and then it just jumped up. But anyway, so I got my bonus. <laughs> I'm really excited, you know, because my goal is to meet Tyra Banks. And I'm hoping that I get an opportunity to talk to her about me and James and how good our relationship is. And that she will say... Oh, that's such a cute story. You know what? Y'all should get married on my show. <laughs> that's really what I would like to have to. But yeah, we so happy. I just thought it would get boring to you. But then yesterday, somebody on Facebook, a girl I know who lives in London, she was just like, you and James, why don't y'all have a YouTube channel yet? I was like, Really? So people are still interested in our story. That's good to know. But yeah, he's amazing. He's definitely one of a kind. I know that I'm pretty blessed that you know, that he found me. And um, he's also blessed to have me in his life as well. You know? And, like, it just feels so good. We were on the phone talking last night because he uh, worked last night, so I didn't see him. But we were talking about how we are so different in this relationship as opposed to all the other ones that we've been in, right down to how we support each other in our endeavors. Because it's not that we weren't supportive of people that we dated in the past. It's not that. It's just on a whole different level. It's like we take a strong personal interest in the other person's success. Now, I, you know, I've dated people who had businesses or, you know, stuff going on at work, whatever. And I was supportive. I'm, I'm like, yeah, go. I'm the cheerleader and stuff like that. But this is just different. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but it goes beyond the moral support. Like... Both of us are active in helping the other person. 
accomplish our individual goals. And like um, he said, you know, he wanted to have a baby. I know y'all know about that. And that was kind of a fiasco because he got upset with me because I was like, well, I don't know. And last night we talked about it. And, you know, I said, I think it would be nice to have a kid. He was like, whatever, Sha'an, I'm not paying you no mind because you're just saying that right now. You don't really mean it, you know, and he would like to have a baby. But I told him, I said, you know what the thing is? I said, I just want to be sure that when we have one, I'll be able to stay home. So I'm really working a tire business hard. He said, well, you know what? Because I said, if you make enough money to where I don't have to be concerned about making money, if I don't need to, that's what would get me to the point where I would say, yes, I'll have a child with you. Because I want to stay home. I don't want to have the child going off to daycare and stuff like that. So he was like, okay. He was like, you let me work on that. Um, I know he's up for a promotion at his job. And y'all know he just got this job in the summer. They're already wanting to promote him because he's such a value, valuable asset. And I know he is because he's a valuable asset to my business. I mean, he was cold calling people for my business. I mean, King, yeah, he cold called people to get them interested in Tyra Beauty. And he didn't even just send me the info. Like, he Google searched makeup artists and stuff in the area where we live. But he didn't just forward me that information. He called them, talked to them. And forwarded me the info to the hot leads, like people who said, yeah, I want to learn more about that. That's what I'm saying is a big difference, you know. So, my hair is a mess. It doesn't want to do right. It's really dry. That's why y'all saw how dry it is. Do I look silly? Let's <laughs> see. Oh, this is just. Well, that's how it is today. It is what it is. So. Well, this video is already 12 minutes. I might as well put my face on too. <laughs> While you're here. So, yeah, I'm doing Tyra Beauty. So, that's what I'm going to put on. I'm going to do my six minute face. Wash my hands first. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say anything but good stuff about James. Even though he fusses at me, I'm not as communicative as he would like me to be. And I am working on that. You know, being with him is just different for me, so... Every day is more of a learning experience. I got hair all over me. I be shedding all the time like a little puppy or something. These buns not even. So I'm going to do this six minute. Let's see if I can do it. The clock says it's 11.07. I'm going to put on some foundation, though. So let's not start the clock just yet. Because Tyra doesn't have foundation. So we can't count that in the minutes. This is CoverGirl Concealer. I need that for around my mouth and eyes because it's horribly pigmented. <laughs> And then I'm going to put another a powder concealer under here before I put my foundation on. That's just what I do. I found that it sets my makeup better, especially around my mouth, where I have all the pigmentation issues. So to keep it even, that's what I do. So this video is going to end up being 20 minutes. I hope you guys watch it. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. 
James said he wants to live stream our wedding. I had already suggested it, like, in September when he first kind of proposed. Is that? Yeah. What you guys think about that? Mm. And I was thinking back on some of these old dates because you guys still comment. Well, I get new views on those monster uh, video that I made, the monster viral ones, I guess you could call it viral. I don't know, but the ones that have like 20,000 views, 13,000 views, those videos, they get hits every day and, you know, new comments. And I just wish that people could, you know, see where I am now. I get some really messed up comments. And um, I know that I, I definitely grew a lot and I learned a lot, but that's just, that's just life, you know? It's a learning experience. And I learned, and you guys were a witness to it. A lot of people judge me and all that kind of stuff, but you know what? And at the end of the day, I did end up meeting a really wonderful man. And so I guess all the shenanigans and the the bad dates were worth it you know so i just want to let any of you out there if you're dating right now and you're going through a tough time don't give up your prince or your princess is out there for you i promise you know you just have to be available when they find you emotionally you know, physically, obviously, be around, mentally, spiritually, be ready. Because it definitely is a blessing to have a partner. It really is. Like, I have a true partner in James, and that is something I wanted my entire life. In which I only felt like I had... I felt like I've had a partnership before, but it was never this even or solid, you know? It's hard to explain, it really is. But. Okay, let's start the clock, it's 11-11. And here we go. This is for my contouring on the news. Oops, I don't have any tissue. I'm not going to do my head. I just got to go to school. Not doing my forehead. It's time to dab. It's time to swab. Sorry about that song. I sing a lot now. I'm telling you guys, I'm just in a really, really good place. I, I do have issues like everyone else, and I have some major issues, but for the most part, everything is going well in my life. Law of attraction in effect, big time. You know, I'm attracting the right people. I'm being in the right place at the right time. And opportunities are, you know, presenting themselves and I'm taking advantage. And um, I'm just happy to be able to report that, you know. Oh, so I did the two minute right away because the two minute is the highlight and contour sticks, which I just did. Oh, I got my nose. Oh, man, that was a little too much there. <laughs> it happens sometimes. 
But, you know, with Tyree, you just blend, 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 and it'll go away. But now my nose look extra light. Look like I'm doing this, and I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to look too narrow. I ain't trying to look like Gina Jackson. And I do need some tissue in my tissue boxes outside. <sighs> so I'm going to use some good old toilet paper. Right, anyway. Time for my cheeks. Do my overly doll face. Overly doll. How about that ain't it? <laughs> Oops. There it is. I'm really done. All right. Dobby face. All right, and it's almost it for my six minute tie over. I'm gonna do the innocent eyes too today. That's the white liner here. Make sure your eyes look more open and though. Only been four minutes so far. I just ordered some more Tyra makeup because they came out with more colors for the eyeshadow. This is um, Eyes in a Stick and Once You Go Brown. And she came up with some more colors, so. I'm excited about that. I like how she got you with a little smoky eye with one color. Smoky! Use my finger. It's been five minutes so far. And I don't even feel like I'm rushing, so that's good. Oops, kind of messed up. <laughs> well, you know what? The thing about having a smoky eye is imperfections makes it better. That's what Tyra say. Okay, 11.16, that means it's been five minutes. And um, I'm pretty much done. Just going to put my mascara on. But I'm going to do more than a six minute, you know. This is the six minute is on now. So. I think I got the long mascara. I did an event this weekend, this past weekend, and we all had our makeup out on the table. This mascara brush don't look like my brush. Lord, don't let me get pink eye. I hope I ain't using the wrong one. Okay, well, my six minutes are up. Um, it's 11.17 now. Let's see if I can get it done. Well, this brush is weird, Lord. And I don't think there's much mascara left in here. I think this is somebody else's. I think I took somebody's demo. Darn it. Because the mascara goes on usually way more than this. And this is like not. Man, now somebody got my nice new mascara. Oh, well. I did do it in about six minutes with a seven. But I didn't have to keep on layering this mascara like that. Yeah, this is not... Oh, this sucks. This isn't even mine. Look at this brush. Whoever had it, like, chewed it up. That's horrible. Oh, well. I got some more.
Well, this is a super long video. If you watch the whole thing, thanks. I guess it's kind of like I did a periscope on YouTube. And I was supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. I need to go. <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm going to do my eyebrows and stuff. That's a different, um, that's in addition to the six minute tie over. It's not going to be long. I'll do a little corner, a little corner highlighting with the chunky highlighter. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Put on some pink lipstick. I like this lipstick. It is like so popping. <laughs> I love it. And I'll do my eyebrows and call it a day. I want to do light eyebrows. dark. Yeah, I'll do my eyebrows light today. I've been doing them dark lately, but I'm going to do them light. I don't feel like having bold brows today. Just normal. I'm just filling in my little hairs. My eyebrows are very fine, so I really do need to darken them, whether it's with this or a pencil, otherwise I'll look like Whoopi Goldberg, even though there is hair here, <laughs> won't look like it, no, so. This is my fix today. Oops. I'm not even going to put anything to highlight my... Well, actually, yes, I will. I'll put a little bit. I'll just do... Oh, it's been 10 minutes. I'm thinking what I want. I'll put a little uh, powder foundation underneath my eyebrow just to give it that just to make it a little bit lighter under there than it already is. And this is uh, Maybelline Fit Me what is it, 355? Three? Yeah, and 355. All done. 10 minutes. Bam. This one is going to get on my nerves. <laughs> Wait. I'm looking at this. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it was super long, but I love you.